Hey, peace and love. Good evening. How you doing? gentlemen welcome and uh, smashing beautiful relaxing smooth what should I call it Saturday evening um, wherever you are in the world I, I wish you a, a fantastic evening each day we choose to make sure that we have a great day we choose to make it a great day or we can allow others to make our day Clint Eastwood always says go ahead punk make my day you know so we also have to make our day you know go ahead punk make my day you know just doing something here at the same time like and share as well invite persons to come on tonight the question is today what are you drinking talking sip it's about drinking something at the same time you know and uh, last week I had some nice Cool, smooth, orcherous fruit juices. But tonight I will go back to wine. Red. The great melon. My dear brother and my sister, God did not create anyone to die poor. So don't sit down, my dear, in poverty. Call me for your problems. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. I do stay off the liquor, the alcohol. You know, I'm not a drinker, but this is just for social call. <laughs> I'm more indulge in the water sparkling punch or crystal punch, they call it. So the question is, what are you drinking tonight? You know? One one of the things that um, that came out tonight is the they have the um, the climate change COP. They have come to an agreement, you know. Yeah. And the president Alex Sharma was crying, you know. They come to agreement tonight, so that is something really um, very powerful, I think, you know. Sometimes you think about the climate change, and when you think about the climate change, it makes you wonder how much we can change the world, you know, how much we can make a big difference. But when you think about it at the same time, you've got to recognize that um, God did give us the, the, he gave us permission and he said, go forth, multiply, and he said, take dominion over the earth. I mean to say that we have a responsibility to make sure that the earth is okay. We have a responsibility to take care of the earth. Yeah. Just like how we got responsibility to take care of our families, we got responsibility to take care of our children, we got responsibility to take care of the community, uh, responsibility to take care of our race, therefore we also have responsibility to take care of the world. That's how I see it as well, right? We've got responsibility to take care of our bodies. 
what we put in our bodies and what we don't put in our bodies. Whether it's by food, drink, jabs, or whatever like that. We have that responsibility to take care of these things. God gave us, and he said, take dominion. Name the fishes of the sea. Name the birds of the air. Name things. That is why one of the first things when children are born, what's the name? The name is a big thing. The name in ceremony, like in Africa, name in ceremony, is a big thing. Big thing in countries. Name. What is your name? Because we got a responsibility to name things. Don't you think? Name things. Name what you want. You know, create, innovate. Some of the things I keep talking about. Create, innovate, make things happen as much as possible. Create. So name things, you know. So regarding the COP26, you know, let's, I think, I think it is, um, you know, change, climate change in Africa, trillions of dollars needed for adaptation, you know trillions of dollars Africa need trillions of dollars not billions if it is to be adapted impact of global climate change according to the president of the African Development Bank Dr. Akin Wunmi Adesinia right trillions you understand well when you think about sometimes the 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 world and how the world is and 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 the the way how money can be found to deal with so many different things in this world <clears throat> so many different crises i've even noticed sometime whenever there is a, a war or whenever there is something like um the iraq war um afghanistan funds money can always be found and you always wonder even the richest men of the world, at the same time, the money that they have can alleviate world poverty. But world poverty is something which is always there and it seems like it will never leave till that kingdom come. The Bible speaks of it. The rich will be getting richer and the poor will be getting poorer. Yes, the rich will be getting richer and the poor will be getting poorer. That's a phenomenon which will not be able to be changed, you know? So, yeah, so the COP26, that, that's a big thing. But one other thing which was, um, you know, crazy, totally crazy, is um, what we're seeing happening around the world, because I just saw a video in Netherlands, and when Lester comes out, let's say if he sees it, in Netherlands, you've got so many people who are actually out there um, demonstrating. Uh, because of the the lockdown as well. Let me just turn this. To, yeah, yeah. Because of the lockdown, so many people are actually, you know, demonstrating because everybody is somewhat a bit totally, you know, annoyed by how different countries, different government leaders, how they are actually pushing the whole jab for jobs. You know, in the UK, November 11th was the day for care workers. And at the same time, while they're actually people losing their jobs, they're actually seeking for persons to take on new jobs within that particular sector. That is very interesting. And that is something which is concerning. And um, depending on which side of the fence you are, maybe you're a person who was taking the jab or somebody who's not taking the jab or someone right in the middle or someone who is hesitant, hesitancy, nothing is wrong with that. <clears throat> but there's also persons who have made up their mind <clears throat> whether they're going to take the jab or whether they're not going to take the jab. So it's like someone in Canada who came on my show and he's talking about by virtue of the person not taking the jab, that is saying that they do not want the job that they have. And so many people, when they actually signed up to work years ago, people have been working in places for years. 10 years, 20 years, 5 years, 2 years, 3 years, even 3 years, 3 years before. It, it is like everything has changed. The conditions have changed because of the new world order that we are living in. And that is why one of the things that I say that this is not anything new about, like to say, I shouldn't say nothing new. It's not as if to say we're going to return back to some normal or the normal has changed. 
The normal hasn't changed and we're not returning back to any normal. It is what we have in called the world. The world innovate, <clears throat> you know, and the world actually changes. That is why you got climate change and all these different things, government changes, leaders changes. And as a result of that, by virtue of such, it's normal. It's the same normal and it's the same thing. So there's nothing to return to and there's nothing to go to. This is today and that is how we live in and that's how it is. That is society for us and we've got to claim it and take it. <clears throat> and what we do, we push it, we fight with it. Another thing also <clears throat> which I which I was looking at in the news and it, it's, it's about the, the cockpit country. You know, the, the cockpit country is somewhat very big in the news, but on a different level, it's not about the mining. Because a lot of things that we're talking about in recent days, and even on the show, was about the mining and about people having a go at the government allowing the mining. And people are saying there's a double standard by the prime minister and the way the rhetoric in, in the, the, the COP26 in how they're talking about no mining in the in the cockpit countries and how they're preserving the Amazon forest <clears throat> and all these lush green areas and that has been seen as not the case. <clears throat> well what has happened is that that's a different thing now. Nobody the 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 pinnacle has somewhat shifted from whether there's mining or not, but the division in the camp. Division in the country, right? Some for the curry, <clears throat> some not for the curry. What do you want? Curry or chicken? <laughs> My throat is dry, you know? And so maybe hopefully <clears throat> later, I may have someone to come on and to give their share their views. I mean, even a bit about the Lumi. Um, the Lumi is something which I, I got to find out about of recent days and I interviewed someone on that bit on my show. And I think information is crucial. Um, I remember when Bitcoin came about, when Bitcoin came about, many people had the same reservations for Bitcoin. And I recall that if I had moved and operated without thinking and going straight in and bought those 400 or to 500 Bitcoin for, I believe it's around 500 or 600 pounds at that time when I was involved with another scheme or another business network marketing. And, and lo and behold, Bitcoin is now like 40 something thousand pounds. I think it was 60 something pounds, dollars US. Uh, someone was saying, when are you coming to Jamaica? I said, if I had followed and just actually ignored my suspicious thinking or my world practical thinking of saying, hey, that is crazy, that is ridiculous. I'll be flying to Jamaica regularly on a private jet. Right, so in regards to the Lumi, I don't know, but I'm just watching, I'm just seeing it, and how things are unfolding before us. And sometimes things, you know, sometimes there are resistance in the camp, but sometimes so that is why I want on the show at times for people to think outside of the box and I watch the crowd. I'm saying I watch nobody, but at the same time, many people say things are scams, some people say things are not scams, but there are scams. And there are things which are called scams, which are not scams, and things which are seem to be legitimate, which are actually scams. Who are we to know? Well, many things which were deemed to be scams in the past, they are now lucrative and they are now regularized. Radio stations which started out initially as being pirate radio station have now been taken into the fold and now being legitimized. Aliens, are there say illegal aliens? Persons who actually travel from countries on the high seas to get away from war, torn, and strife, and famine. They have moved on from that point of illegality and they are brought into the fold where they are deemed to be legal. I remember one time in the UK when I was actually working and um, I think I went over the 20 hours and uh, when I went to renew my visa as a student, they said they weren't gonna renew it until I get a letter from the law firm to say that I would not work over 20 hours. For a, for, for a period of about three, four days, I was like, not stateless, but never had this the visa, never wasn't um, had the, 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 the right to remain in the country, but I had the right to remain in the country, but never had a visa to cover that, a student visa to cover that at that time. 
right? But I was, after I got the letter, I was brought back into the fold and they said, you're okay, Mr. Sida. Boom, got the stamp. You know what I'm trying to say? So I like to sort of think things through. So hopefully may get somebody to talk about what's happening in the camp over there in, um, in, 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 in cockpit country land. And, um, and of course, you know, let's see if there's anyone that can come on later and speak about any particular business ventures. I know some people are celebrating having some holidays and some birthdays as well. I want to big up the Vita because, and, and, and let me just put her a drink. And if, if she can come on and even share some birthday cake with us, there's Vita. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. We can, um, <clears throat> we, we, we sure we can accommodate some, some birthday. I'm sure nobody would mind if she sends over some birthday cake to us. We will do it, and um, and who else want to come on? Let's come on. Oh, so, I, I just want to say hi. I'm celebrating my birthday with my <coughs> friends, guys. You are live, guys. You are live. Can you say oh, hi? Yeah. Hey, hey, this is birthday. Ah. Wait, is this Instagram? What is this? I'm live. I have on a Facebook? Talk, yeah, I have a talk show on Instagram. So guys, you're live. So these are my friends celebrating my hey. birthday. Look at this one. He's so big and nice and tall. <laughs> yeah, look at look how pretty she is. Yeah. yeah. So guys, I'm celebrating my birthday with my friends. And I'm gonna so say I, thank you. So and I, 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 I use I you I use when they put that there's an Instagram thing going around and the person saying hey, 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 and they're so happy and they put the they put the the the, the, the full age so like like you're saying you're you're four are you four years old or five years old <laughs> cheers <laughs> cheers <laughs> I miss you all. Are, you, are you are you four I, years I, old I, I got it. that's that's hi. that's my that's my my niece right there. Say hi. Hi. Yes. Hello. So I'm Hello. Are my you doing? I love you all, and I'm not gonna stay. But cheers. Cheers. All the best. Take care. Oh, <laughs> Joe DeMarie says Scorpio have an awesome on mine in his neck. Oh, hers is next week. Joe DeMarie is next week as well. Oh, really? I want a Spartacus. I want a Spartacus get her. <laughs> Spartacus is there. Okay. Did you get the number from um from Jody in Jamaica for Spartacus? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't. I, I hope I hope she I hope she can I hope she can come in if anything like that. Jody, if you want to come in, um, do do show your face if anything like that and give us an update on what's happening with Spartacus. You know what I'm saying? You know. Or Sparta, 300, Sparta, you know? <laughs> so, guys, I just want to say thank you for yeah. wishing me a happy birthday. And I'm getting my life. Well, we wish you a happy birthday. There's some music for you. All right, Vita. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Take care, sir. Okay, there we go. Vita celebrating her birthday. And, um, and... Jody Marie, we wish you happy birthday whenever that that comes. Let me see if I can get this here. Boom. Oh, she oh. came on oh. before I came on. Hey, how you hey, doing? How you I doing? hope she has an awesome birthday. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm having that. And echo, I'm having that. Echo, 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 echo. echo. I hope you're not. <laughs> Are you serious? I thought I wouldn't. I thought I have an echo. Yeah, you don't have on the earphone today, do you? Yeah. Oh, you're gone again. Can I hear you? Um, it's distorted. If you, I put put in. Put in back the earphone, something like that. It's because the earphone is clear, only that it is. How is that now? If anything. Yeah. Yes. Better? Yes. No echo. Awesome. Keep it like that. Don't move. Don't think. Don't breathe. Don't talk. <laughs> if I don't talk, then why am I here? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I am not bad. 
I'm actually um, working. Uh, well, 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 fortunately, you have, you have not been in the car most the last few times. So at least, you know. I have to give the driving a break. I have not been doing well. So I can't be driving too much, you know. So I've given the driving a break. I'm trying to find yeah. different ways to, um, to maneuver that. Yes, yes, yes. No, that, that is very important because I was just speaking a while ago that we've got to take care of ourselves, you know, uh, as as much as possible. Because, the you know the, the God says, um, you know, you know, take dominion of the earth, name the birds of the this the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and mm -hmm. I, I was talking about the COP twenty six, you know, about the the climate change. Yes. Everybody, and I think they, they came to a deal. And I was saying, even though people might have their skepticism and saying that, uh, can we really make any change? I, I, it just dawned on me, not just dawned on me, I recognize that we have a responsibility to take care of the things that are around us. Am I right or am I right? That is, that is very true. Um, and as I said before, you know, um, there are some things that are going to be even more um, in our faces about climate change. Um, yes. You know, one of the things I looked at when we went into this whole lockdown pandemic thing, I was saying, uh, the world is getting a chance to take a break from us and a break from pollution. And it's going to reset things in a way that it's going to create a bigger disturb. Um, I guess yes. when I said that, I did kind of sound weird to a lot of people. But um, think about the ocean not being disturbed by huge ships. Um, <laughs> Uh, not being disturbed by air pollution of airplanes. Um, the earth gets a while to rejuvenate, you know, just like how some of us took some time in the pandemic to rejuvenate and not to be dealing with, we didn't even know how much stress we were under until we actually took a break. Exactly. So the world, the world kind of did that too. Yes. Nature kind of did that too. And, um, you know, things that were used to being bombarded by or human trafficking by our human pollution, got a break from that a bit, you know? So it's resetting, that, that, and we're going to that, see things happen that, that we never saw that, happen before. That is so correct. And I just want to big up Wayne Ferron, saying hello, Talking Sick family, Fanzo, uh, Ian Kuje, uh, Dimari, as, as well, uh, you know, always in the space Hi, to be. Guys. Welcome. Yeah. And and um, so yeah, so so what they said that there is a there's a there's a deal which is in place, and all being well that um, you know somehow that that can come to fruition. So how is Jamaica there, by the way, today? Jamflix? How is Jamflix? I heard I heard that I, I heard that it's the only I station. It, well, Jamflix this this week. No no no. Hold on. They say it's the only television network that they only keep it on one dial, Jamflix. You can't change the channel. You can't change the channel on, on Jamflix, you know? But I kind of unsubscribe mm. this. I was literally out of touch with what was going on. Um, it was, you know, I heard you talking about the cockpit earlier. It was one of my yes. workers who said, um, you know, have you been listening? And I'm like, no, because they knew it was, it's there to me. I was a part of the first petitions that were signed, so, so it remains undisturbed. But I have yes. not been going up because I kind of tuned myself into a different mode. Um, so I don't even know what was in the news this week, to tell you the truth. I'm being totally well, well, honest well, 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 the, the, the thing about the news now, the thing about the news, because normally at 6 o'clock, I'm tuned into this the BBC news. And then, mm -hmm. so you got the, the, the general news at 6 o'clock. 6.30, you have London news or local areas. So if you live in London, you get London, Birmingham, or wherever, Manchester, or wherever in the in the UK. And then seven o'clock, there's another news now, which is which Channel Four. So you get a different perspective. And there's another radio station called LBC that I listen to in a day. And I found myself tuning out of them because I realized that we are like sometimes, if you're not careful, ladies and gentlemen, and see if you can see this analogy. You know, like children, when they are small and they just open their mouth for you to just feed them, you're giving them food, and you just get milk and everything. And I found in a way, like, people were, or I was even so, like, being fed, fed food. Until after a while, I realized that you've got to now decide to choose. 
Yes. The choicest meal. Choose the best know. food for you yourself. Eat. Yes. Yeah, you, we have to choose. Sorry. We have to choose. Um, hold on. Something's going on here. All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have to choose what we feed our minds because, you know, um, it's very important because our mindset um, affects our productivity. And yes. And I find that, you know, the more you take in what's negative, your mind becomes cumbersome. You don't get to think straight. You don't get to be as productive as you want to be. And then other people's lives are being affected by that. Um, for me personally, um, with my business and what I do, um, my mind space is always very important because I'm having to always listen to people. And um, my expertise are based on listening skill. And if I am too tired to do what we call active listening, then... It won't make any sense. My interventions mm. won't work for patients. They won't work um, for my students. They won't work for my staff. And, you know, it's one of those things that I have to be conscious of all the time. And I think as human beings, we have to learn to do that for ourselves. Because mm. we only have one life that we have to live. And if we don't try and focus on the things that are important, it's like I said to somebody, they say, I'm learning to become selfish. And it's not selfish in a way that I don't do things for people. It's selfish in a way where I learn to take care of Jody Marie so that Jody yes. Marie can be able to serve people better. Because if all I'm doing, and I think I've spoken this before too, is pouring, pouring, pouring out of my cup, and my cup is not being refilled, then what's going to happen is I'm going to be at a point where my cup is going to be empty and there's nothing else to pour out. So we have to learn to do that, you know? Like, refill our glasses. Hi, yeah. we have taken a sip since I've been here. A special cocktail. Have you taken a sip? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on a second. You had a sip, you had a sip. I've been here for a while and we haven't sipped. Well, cheers. What is that? That is like some sort of, um, is that some pineapple drink it, or something like that? It, it's a cocktail. I won't let out my ingredients. It's a cocktail. Okay. Yes, I won't let out. You my won't let out the ingredients. Okay. Okay. All right. Is, yeah. Has it? Has it got a? Has it got a touch of Sparta? Sparta. <laughs> you're spinning. Okay. You're spinning a while ago. Go on. Okay. Can you? We're good now. No, you're you're spinning a while ago. Yes, you're good. You're good. You're good. You know. There's something which you said a while ago about taking care of yourself and being selfish. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you clearly. Can can you? Yeah. About taking care of yourself and being selfish. And um, someone reminded me that athletes and persons who are up and down, you know, these guys running, boxing, or whatever, they tend to always eventually have to stop and get these massage and get these sort of therapy for their body and everything, because they've got to protect their body, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and a guy reminded me this weekend because of my up and down, he said, do you, do you do any massage or anything, you know, for your body? And I said, no, I just, he said, man, you've been doing this for two years, nearly two years. You need to actually get some sort of toning up or something like that. <laughs> you also and, need to take an ice bath. And the, the interesting thing, a what? An ice bath. For you who've been working out, an ice. You, you mean going ice, ice in this? Bath. Yes, at least, yeah. Yeah, but I'm in the cold. Well, well, since the cold you, is gonna come, all I got to do is walk in the cold. Yeah. You be <laughs> funny. Um, it's not the same thing. <laughs> it's it's almost like resetting. Like when I have a headache, um, a very intense headache, I put cold water on my head. It kind of shocks your nerve back into reset. Yes. And then um, I think yes. it was a friend of mine who told me that if I can't do the whole um, cold water on my head, I should just you put a cube of ice in a towel and put it right in the neck of your back, um, the nip of your back of your neck, and that does a reset too, mm -hmm. and it gets rid of the headache. But I know for sure when I put cold water in my head, automatic reset. Try yeah. it. That, that's powerful, you know, because I, I, that's powerful because I, I, was, I was sharing this with people because it was no secret because I missed out a few days of walking because I had a tenderness in my foot bottom. And um, mm -hmm. 
And then I was sort of concerned about it. And then this guy was showing to me and he showed me some stretching, some stretching I need to do. And I felt good after that stretch. And the doctor sent me for ultrasound. And when I did the ultrasound, they came back and said, um, the doctor will speak to me next week, Wednesday. This is Wednesday coming. God they said, it's not a, not, not, nothing to worry about because with the NHS, if there was anything, they would have called you immediately. That is even okay. a major concern. But what, but what struck me was what the guy said. The guy said that your body is made up of some different features and blah, 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 and you need to stretch and do this. And somehow, since I started doing that, I hardly feel the pain, in, the tenderness is going down. <laughs> you see, there just some, sometimes there are simple techniques that we can do to whether we set our bodies and our minds. Mm. And um, we tune into how we need to take care of ourselves a little bit more then we can be more productive, we can be more positive, we can impact the world a little bit more. Yes, yes, yes. No, that, that's, that's very interesting. But tell me, do, do you know what's going on in the cockpit country? Uh, that's what I'm because saying. Because they're not talking about mining now. No, but then there are other things. Um, what's going on with your chief? I thought the chief was your friend. <laughs> The chief, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening there, but because I'm, I'm reading a lot of things and I was trying to get maybe Daniel to come on. Uh, he said I can call him in because he's, he's not on Instagram, but I can call him in to, to sort of give an explanation as to what is happening because a lot of people are talking before regarding the cockpit country in regards to no mining in the cockpit yeah. country, but now there seems to be some sort of division now which is happening between persons of the new chief and persons of the old chief and there's some issues there going on and they're because still talking about the sovereignty I didn't hear the um the the whole news about it but i heard something about somebody being attacked and then the chief trying to sing he's trying to defend um and there were stories about um weapons that were there that were not legal i heard all of that conversation but i need to hear the full story yeah yeah but no i've, I've... I... I've got this. Interview Sorry, go on. Um, to clarify some of the things that were there, but I didn't hear the interview. Oh, there's an interview with him? Yeah, he did an interview. I think it was a radio interview on Nationwide that he did. Um, but yeah. I didn't get the chance to listen to it. Is, is it a topic which is, um, is it a private matter or is it um, something um, worthy to be aired and to be discussed or is it a private sort of thing like this thing we got in the cockpit country um honestly i think anything related to jamaica and jamaicans <laughs> is not private <laughs> yeah but um, but, it's, it, but it's jamaica Jam but, but the cockpit country is not a part of jamaica um i don't know what you're saying when you say that um, really it does not make sense uh you know, well, and, and that's the it's it's a, that's it's the a, it's that a sovereignty. That that's that's the part. It's not the, the sovereignty. Yeah. Um, you see what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm now? looking at. Huh? You have documentation. Yeah. No, there's there's lots of things here. You know, talking about the Attorney General. The, the you know. There's, there's some ism and schism there going on regarding the Lumi. And I did an interview with someone regarding the Lumi as well. The mm -hmm. occurrence which I say is fraud and, um, yeah. and issues there. And lots of, lots of pride, lots of, lots of documents being what, showed. What, what, I, I think it, I, uh? what is it being measured again? Drum, I, yeah. I, I'm trying to get Lester, but I can't see him. You you sent me an email. Lester, you need he to send me an email. Me. I can't see. Yeah, what I can't. He's saying at me. I, I, I can see that. I can see that, but I can't unless he sent me a request because somehow I'm not seeing. You had sent me a request. That is why I was able to add you. Ah, um, because the format, yes. the yes. format has changed um, in the add section, I think, because I had that problem earlier too. Ah. I can send you a request ah. earlier. I had to go through and I realized the menu was changed. Ah, I just realized that it has changed a while ago. That is why yeah. I personally the menu have to changed. send the request. Well, but Lester, what's up, buddy? Superman? As...
Oh, wabar. Ay, Jory. Is actually not an S in there. Is a symbol of hope. Um, hold on. A, sim- a symbol of I, hope. I think you need it's, to straighten your shirt. Superman so symbol is, 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 is... What I'm saying, the Superman symbol is not an S. It is a symbol of hope. It's a symbol from the planet Krypton. <laughs> It's, it's, it's from Superman era. This is just not strong enough. Uh, no, look here. I am giving Google it and I, I, I tell more on, 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 on this on Google. It's not an S. Anyway. All right. Um, it's a kryptonite. One more time. Hey, Alexa, what are you drinking? Um, conflicts with pink Lasko. <laughs> These are conflicts. Conflicts yeah, with pink lasco. With pink lasco or strawberry lasco. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you know? Do you know? Actually, I was thinking about having tea today, and I was actually thinking about having hot chocolate. Honestly speaking, I'm literally <laughs> thinking about having hot chocolate, or if I could get Milo. When last time you guys had Milo? Yesterday. My- you had Milo yesterday. Would you Milo every day at work? So, you kiddies, may I send it to you? Day at work? Yeah, but you Milo every day I work, every morning I work. Milo? Man. Can't last time I had Milo, man. I used to have Milo in my hand, man, and just put the sugar in it, you know what I mean? Them days, you tea for the Milo. I'll mix up the Milo and the condensed milk. Yeah, man, them days. Okay. But that was that was sweet stuff. No wonder lots of us have diabetes. Man, those are some serious sweet stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, um, but listen, I hear that there's some demonstration going on in Netherlands, and somebody sent me some video. I don't know if I send it to you. Oh, them, them are demonstrating all over. There was some climate change demonstration in Amsterdam, um, and they're also demonstrating about the lockdown and they might demonstrate about housing. They might demonstrate about kind of so. You guys are still Maybe in the lockdown. Know? First word. First world problems, uh, Silver. First world problems. First world problems. We just wait, wait a uh, we just have a partial lockdown now. Mm. What mm. happened? But but back up. Yesterday, seventeen thousand new cases. Seventeen thousand. Yeah. And, and and also in the U, uh, not in not in the UK, but in um, in Europe, they say it's, it's in um, the, the the cases are increasing in Europe. I, I must say, as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, because we travel to, we, we travel a lot. So you, you think it's a lot of traveling which is going on? Yeah, well, for traveling we are going. Mm. Mm. Because I was listening, I was listening to something earlier. I'm trying to see if I can see the video, but the the, the video is in your language, and that is if you mm-hmm. if you if you can actually um show the language, you know what I mean, and so like that. But but also jo- Jody, uh, care workers in the UK, they are now going mm-hmm. to have to be um you know November 11th was the day for them if they are if they're not locked down if they're not um vaccinated they have no jobs you know what i mean what do you think about oh, that oh i saw that um I, I i actually saw that one i think it was one of my um my past co-workers from ue um who is now in the uk working with the nhs at saying that um some of them have been vaxxed and some of them have gotten boosters and are still catching covid um so i don't know how that works my, my someone my cousin here ted does said Lockdown, lockdown in the UK for Christmas or something like that. It's like they're looking towards a lockdown, you know what I mean? Most countries are going to be closed down for Christmas again this year. It's, it's going to be a good Lester, one. Do, Lester, do you understand this? You understand that language, Lester? Yeah, uh, 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 the climate change. 
demonstration that. Is it? Is it? Is it? First, first, our problem. Them not better for them. What's that? They're not climbing. But can't, but can't, but I, I'm not seeing. See, that, that's the thing. Sometimes when you get these things in and people send you these videos and they put narratives towards it, and actually the narrative is the wrong thing because it makes it look as if to say it was something about lockdown, but it's about climate change. That's what you heard a while ago, didn't you? Yeah, but um... hmm. listen, listen. Let, let's get on to some serious stuff. What's going on with the cockpit country? I'm going to get Daniel to come in and, and share something um, via the phone because he's not able to get onto Instagram. Um, before we were talking a lot about the um, the the whole scope of the mining, but it has moved away from the mining now, isn't it? Gone into a different dimension. And I, I mean, I'm looking at I'm looking at the chief site. Man, there's so much stuff there, man. It is like wow, blow my mind, man. Jody, you need to see it's gone his page, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, listen, the chief, the chief has a very good evening, Paula. Good broad... evening, everybody. Bless you. Yeah. Uh, Mm. Yeah, Paula, big up yourself, Paula. Mm. Um, the chief have a very broad view of what he more if he transform the, the, the era. And I think one of the main problem is sorry, and I had that problem when, when I was into the entertainment industry too, is like when you have somebody who educated, I hear amongst whole people who have limited education, you other have serious problems. So they are not used to the type of um, governance that he is coming with. Yes. And um, so he's having pushback because what their pe people are having party outside of curfew hours, people are having um, people just want to do as they please, and he's saying that no, it is not. It is not like that. So it, there have been several parties where lock off. Um, yeah. Persons are wanting to do um, things that are against his um, rule. Can you stop one second? Can, can you stop one second? Um, natural beauty. Somehow, I'm not able to invite persons in. If you send an invite, I will see the invite, like what Lester did as well, and um, Jody, because I can't like invite anyone. Like, somehow, this is strange. Like the new changes here. Natural beauty, just log off and come back and you see the invite, something come up and just press it. No, no, she's not going to see it, Lester, because no, I'm not sent you an invite. She's, she has got to send you an invite. No, if she log off and, and come back and she will see it. Oh, she's not going to see it. Yeah. Okay. okay. When I logged on, I, I didn't see that option. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're saying Lester, yeah. Yeah, so, so, so we're, what we're having is more of a intellectual disparity which leads to, which, which will, will always lead to a physical altercation yes Let so the person that got injured what jody mentioned is his nephew who's nephew the chief yeah. nephew okay and and um the, yeah the chief nephew like in the be of unruly and as far as what I'm hearing, that like the chief man them go for him, the chief security detail must go for him and beat him. Go beat up him, nephew. Yeah, he never, he never. If you never okay. get out, and put him, put him back in line. Oh, okay. So that was a family affair then. I don't know if it's a family affair, but for, I get to understand that the, that the Navy is unruly. Yeah, yeah but um, I, I made a post about it on Facebook this week that, you know, I think Andrew and Dr. Chang has to get that area and all the maroon areas in line as a listen, you're a part of Jamaica. You're under the rule of the Jamaica Constabulary Force if something goes wrong. You're under the rule of the court. You're under the rule of the... The parliament, simple. <coughs> well, we can't, NHS, we, can't, we can't have a half state in our state. I was going to say the NHS, but not the NHS, the health service. Um, and Jody, maybe you can answer that. If someone in Maroon Town, a compound, whatever, and they need health service, they need to have children, where they go to the hospital, isn't it? Unless, have they got a hospital there? 
I don't know. This is what I'm trying to say is um, yes. I'm not sure how developed they've been over the years because I have not kept up to date with it. I don't know. They would have to go to the public hospital. Jody? Yes. Jody, sir. let me tell you this. Teach for me. goods and goods and goods and supplies for their shop. Mm -hmm. They must be left out of Maroon Town or a compound town and go in a the so wider what society. Go by the electricity. They, well, have they use our resources. You know what I'm saying? The electricity that is there is JPS. Right? Not oh, true, Lester. Not yeah. true. Ah, yes, let me tell you. Women use goods and goods and goods and supplies. I got you on too. Hi everyone. Okay, I think I found out how to do it actually. This I did I invite you a while ago, did I? I don't know. I just pressed something on this phone because I really was on my laptop and I just don't know how to get on with the laptop, so I'm on the phone. Okay, I think I think I found out what happened a while ago. There's some changes there because I clicked here. How are you doing? Good. What are you drinking? Peace and love, everyone. We we mm -hmm. drinking or we eating? Wine. Cake. I don't even know. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let, let's so let's say you're you're, you're saying about this. Um, no, I, I'm saying that the all all the maroon towns across Jamaica, and I have been to the one in Buff Bay, I've been to the one in um, Millbank, and I've been to the mm. next one, I remember, I shared them ago. But all of them use NWC, they use JPS, and they use the public hospital, they use the road, they use the Jamaican currency. So none of yes. them is truly self-sufficient. None of them. No, them can't be yeah. self-sufficient because they're part of Jamaica. There's, there's no law or regulation or document or nothing to say. They're independent. Because if you're independent, where your airport there? It's not independent, really. It's sovereign, right? But they're not sovereign either. Right, well, that's the same thing I'm saying. There's no hospital. But, but, no, but remember nothing. Hong Kong. Hong Kong was sovereign to China. You remember? Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? Remember when England controlled Hong Kong, right? Hong Kong wasn't dependent on China. Right. Mm -hmm. We can't hear you, Silburn. Silburn, we can't hear you. No, I'm talking to Daniel. I'm gonna bring Daniel in because he can't come on. He can't come on and on the Instagram because he's not on the Instagram. So he's he's from he's uh, one of those chief maroons, you know, not chief maroon, but he's a maroon. That's <laughs> a chief, <Maroon. laughs> you know. Um, you, you can hear me, um, Daniel. Yeah, man, I'm hearing you loud and clear, Silver. Can you guys hear Daniel clear? Yes, we can. Peace, Daniel. Okay, okay. Yeah, man, greetings. Listen, listen, the, the, one, Daniel, one of the questions that person was saying a while ago is um, that the Maroons need to line up with Jamaica and fall in line. Andrew Holness and Horace Chang need to bring them in line. What's your take on that? <laughs> um, one of the things that I recognize is that as a people, we are still mentally subjugated and subdued. So the perception of another set of black people like us who are outside of the control of a system that clearly hasn't benefited us, the education is falling, the crime is down. Why would you, you're unable to grasp that fact? Well, let me put it in context for the average Jamaican who can't ascribe to the fact that there's a set of people who are not under subjugation. Bear in mind that, for example, um, the Native American Indians, now, in the middle of America, there's these set of people that cigarettes sell for $20, you go on the native compound and get it for 5 They are allowed. Gambling is not allowed, but these people have casinos on their land because they're outside of the jurisdiction. Mm. And it is a fault of the education system that even us as Jamaicans find it difficult to grasp that is that we're still of mediocre minds. Mm. Because we can't grasp global concepts of reality of people being sovereign aside and apart from being subjugated by a state. That's scary. Mm. While we're living in the first world. Yes, yes, yes. They all have flat screen TVs and can't understand that 
and it is, it, you will accept it comfortably with other people. But the thoughts of a set of people like yourselves having that, you're like, no, they must be subdued like me. And that is a problem of content. Can, can, I, can I just ask, um, Daniel, um, of recent days, and Jodie was here a while ago, so she had tuned out of the news and she had picked up exactly what was happening. But we, we have talked about the maroon and their compound and about mining. Mining was what we were talking a lot about. But of recent days, there have been issues now within the camp in the sense of leadership. Is that a fair statement? The question not. Um, well, you, you go for it. You, you, not, it's, 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 you break it down for me. Cause, here's, yeah. what it, here's what we, 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 one, one, of the, one of the things we must, we must bear, come to bear and bring it to the forefront of our conscious, consciousness. Mm. Um, these are realities of every society. The hypocrisy is in the fact that whatever issue might be happening in the Maroon community is not strange and different. And it's no way near as worse as stuff that is happening in the very countries that you now live, whether it is the United States, Canada, um, United Kingdom, Europe, wherever. These are real issues and worse issues you are facing. So to, 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 to directly pinpoint it as an issue of leadership in the Maroon country, everywhere you go, there are political differences, social and economic disparities, and people have always had agitating and agitated circumstances based on perception and feeling, which is what it is. Everybody has had problems. Everybody has had problems. In, um, in the United Kingdom, you have a huge list of police brutality, right? Mm. In the United States, it's, 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 it's par for the course. So if, if there is a, 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 an attempt or a similar situation happening, it doesn't make maroon and maroon talk. Any we are near worse are are different from anywhere else. It is just something that we will have to deal with. Just to, and and and, and um, ameliorate and take steps to correct it. If, if there is a problem, just as it has to be happening in every other country in the world. It is it's not that hard. Yeah. Um I was put to guys, what, what what Daniel said, isn't that a fair statement there, right there? Because everywhere you have it. In the UK you now Boris Johnson um um Ratings is dropping because of some sleaze thing recently with a, a government minister, government guy who actually was working in while while in parliament doing some other jobs which they shouldn't do, and there are questions about its credibility. You know, the leadership and the Labour Party is looking better in America. Well, they're all asleep since Joe came there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a run, the scientists seem to be the one who's running. In in Jamaica, you know, there's an issue about. Is Andrew Ones the right man or blah, 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 because of the vax, the vax, the vax, the vax. So it's, it's everywhere, isn't it? Lester, is it everywhere? Lester? It is everywhere. Uh, um, Let me just, um, Daniel? Just, yeah. Daniel? Daniel, can you hear me? Can, can you hear me, Daniel? Daniel, can you hear me? I'm not hearing him clearly. I, uh, it's not coming up as clearly. Uh, you can talk, Lester. I can... Yeah, translate if anything. Um, yeah, yeah, hear me now. Can we turn up my phone now? All, All right, right. Sil 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 Silver, if you can, um, 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 echo my sentiments to him. Yes. Um, why is it that Daniel, in his in his first statement, seemed to be saying them and us, right? Because he said that the wider Jamaica can't seem to come to grasp that a set of people, which he's talking, his people, the Maroons, right, are not subjugated. He is also a Jamaican. We're not different than him. You All understand right. me? Stick up in there. Let me make sure. Say, if, if, I'm, if I'm in court and they're doing something, got you got him. Okay, you got him. All right. That's all right. That's all right. You, you got I him. got him. He got Let me it. respond to that. Let me respond to that. You need to stop being hypocritical mockers in feast, my brother. The Maroons are different. Okay, let us look at how different the Maroons are. The Maroons were brought here by the Spaniards. It means that the Mar Spain never had an African colony until 1884 at the Treaty of Berlin. Slave Spain never had a slave trade. Who are the Maroons? Those were the people who were ruling Spain from 1780 to 1490, defeated at Granada 1490, exiled to the Caribbean islands, resisted immediately because you were ruling Europe for 700 years. 
Then the British and the French, not having another set of blocks, went to Africa for a set of blocks to use. We never interfaced with you at any point until after slavery was abolished in 18, 1830 or somewhere there. Even then, we didn't interface with the wider Jamaica. My great grandfather never came down into Santa Cruz. You understand me? So we are different, and we need to get over this hypocrisy. You, there has been attempts by the colonial government and the independent government to assimilate us and to do all right and to war for our history. How can you say we're not different when we have a history? We have a 6th of January, we have a celebration, we have a language. My mother sang to me in three. Do you know three? Do you have, a, have your family ever used three or just simply taught you the English language? So you need to respect that. Being different doesn't mean that we're special, but we are different. Okay. Jody, what what's I, your take on that, Jody? I don't think Lester is saying that there is not a difference. But what we're saying is you're a maroon in Jamaica, which is the same thing I'm thinking to myself, that you were born in Jamaica, but you're a maroon. So doesn't that still make you Jamaica? A pig being born? No, my dog what? had her puppies in a pig pen. They're still puppies. Being born on this island does not negate who I am originally and that is the thing you're so desperate you see your progress as assimilation while we see our progress as still being able to contribute to maintain our ashanti unbroken traditions i must be able to say no, to my son what to what is to my matata and he must understand it is important for us mm -hmm. it may not be important for you if you're saying that for us it means that you're saying that the american indians should drop their culture and assimilate you're saying that that all the indigenous peoples of the world including the aborigines of australia must all forget their indigenous origins and okay. their ancient traditional culture. All right, let's assimilate to yeah. European. Yeah. All right. Pause. Pause for a century cultures. Yeah. Pause for a second there. Um. Um. Jody, did you you wanted to come back and say something there? No, I'm just trying to say that right. Um. You are a culture, a culture, a subculture within a country. That is all we are saying, and we are interdependent because the Maroons are not an independent state where they take, they are, um, what you call it, um, self-sufficient. We are interdependent. That's all we're saying. We're not saying you're not different, which means that whichever law governs the land itself would somehow intermingle with whatever the law of the state is in the maroon areas that's all we're saying and i think the misunderstanding and the misconception is that we you think we do not respect that sovereignty that is not what we are saying we are saying no. you're a sovereign no. state within a country no, but we are saying the landmark is a hmm. country. The Daniel. The landmark. Sorry. All right. Are there maroons in other okay. countries? All right, Are then. there maroons in other landmarks? That you. is what I'm asking. Okay, Daniel is going to respond. Please. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. You must understand. There are maroons that are found everywhere. The Gaspar Yaranga maroons in Mexico, the Simarones in Colombia, Peru. There is the, um, the Surinamese maroons, the Saramaca maroons of Suriname. There are the. Um, the, 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 the Belizean Maroons, the ones in Guyana, we all ascribe to a same ancient tradition. You have the, the, the Condomble in Brazil, you have the, the, the Mambisi in um, Cuba. All of these are former Spanish islands, former Spanish colonies that we resist. We were the ones, like we said, brought, brought from Europe, was ruling for seven years, and we resisted. Now, as it goes of the island of Jamaica, let us remember and stop being hypocritical, my people. Up to, up to, um, 1830, you was a slave, and all your ancestors before you were whipped, abused, raped, violated, used on this plantation. There's nothing in it to glorify. After 1830, the abolition of slavery, um, what they call emancipation. The word emancipation in law, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Attorney, the word mm. emancipation in law means transfer of ownership. The ownership of the slave was transferred from the slave master to the British crown. You are still owned. Um, in order to get rid of the burden of you in 1962, they, they created something called the State of Jamaica, Full Capitals Corporation, which is, with its shareholders being the British Crown and members of the House of Lords. The, the citizens of Jamaica became the assets of that corporation. 
the state of Jamaica is a company set up to extricate all the wealth of the island of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. We are on the island of Jamaica. At no point has the Maroons been party to that. Let us bear that in mind. So to ask us now, when you don't even understand, your grandfather didn't understand when he signed a birth certificate what it means. You don't even recognize the fact that there is a red number at the bottom of your birth certificate. And if you call any broker and ask him the value of a stock, he'll say, give me the stock number. And he will give him that red number on your Jamaican birth certificate. And he will quote mm -hmm. to you what you are valued as a stock to the company called the state of Jamaica. But you not understanding something or asking us to subscribe to it. That is dangerous. Can, can, can I ask, uh, Michelle? So we, no, sorry, go on, go on, Daniel. Start finish your saying, Daniel. So we need, to, we need to ascribe truth of understanding and seek proper clarity. And then we all come to the table with understanding rather than coming to the table with just um, beliefs and a desire to continue in a system that we see a little progressive. Okay. Um, Michelle, what do you want to say? Yeah. Well, what he's saying is the truth. It is the truth that we are stocks. The birth paper <laughs> that we have, we are stocks. Like... That Daniel and, 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 and Michelle, um, that is not any secret. You understand know I me? Mean? That is a well known thing about the birth certificate and stock and all them things there. Um by 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 any chance, Daniel, if you're gonna leave um the island of Jamaica as a maroon, what port of exit you use? Mm -hmm. You're still not understanding. So here's what happens. Let me give you clarity. Because the criminal, white, colonial corporation did not want to ascribe the rights to the Maroons. My mother was born in a compound. They, however, they criminally issued her a Jamaican birth certificate. Instead of saying to my mother and the other Maroons, say, listen, you are your own people. Go and create your own thing. So someone trying to criminally co-opt you into something does not mean you have lost it. So if I want to leave the state of Jamaica under the proper authority ascribed by international law to my status as an indigenous, it means I'm entitled to my own port. Just well, here I am now, the first generation of Maroons to get the edification and the requisite educational qualifications and exposure to understand it. So how dare you know that I understand it, try to tell me I should forget it. That's what you're doing, you know. Because what you're asking me, yes, when my mother used a Jamaican birth certificate to go and work at the University of Miami and lecture here, she should not have. She should have been, they should have, been, but, but the Jamaican criminal British owned government wanting to co opt that right, kept it a secret, kept the education minimal so that even you feel it fully still don't even understand. Because if you understand that this thing is a fraud and the birth certificate is a fraud, and here we are as Maroons with an historicity and an autonomy that can place us. And you and your great grandchildren yet born out of that slavery trap. And you're saying to me, forget it and just stick with the slavery trap. Daniel, can I That's ask a, dangerous. Can I ask a question here, guys? And and this is it. There is seem to be a standoff in a certain way with Jamaica and the Maroons. You know, you understand? Or as to the assimilation or the separation. I mean, you made it very clear because you use the analogy of the Aboriginals, the the Arawak, the, not the Arawak, the the Indians in America. The American Indians. Yeah, they they and have everywhere else. It's not just yeah. America. Yeah. Canada too, and they yeah. have their autonomy. Yes, yes. And it's respected. They go. They don't even pay tax. When you use your ID to buy some, I should pay. Why should I be paying tax to the crown? Tax is criminal ripoff. Mm. So if I am in a position to free myself from tax, it's like you're saying. You don't want me to free. You'd have, you, the people who would have a problem with that would have had me been on the plantation with them also. Then what, about this, then what about this question about if someone is not well and they are sick, what do they do? do, they, do they, are they taking it's care not, of... It's, 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 no. Are they taking... No, we might yeah. have to go to your hospital. It yeah. is a matter of a matter of a, a simple meeting with any, any one of the embassies in Jamaica. We have mm. the space to say, look, we need a whole mini hospital and we create that for ourselves. Here I am at 40 much, as, as, and, and there are other young Maroons like me. We are here now. We have arrived. We are edified. Clearly, me and not the brat, me the dancing of the crew, and me all a PhD from the University of Havana. We are ready now. Mm. So when you are ready now, do not block us. Encourage us and say, damn, 
What it means is, is that you are in America paying tax and in England and in Jamaica on the family paying tax. You must understand that if you can ascribe and we share our indigenous nationality with you, it then puts you in a taxing status that you no longer become part of the crown's commonwealth because the crown makes it wealth from the wealth of the commoners by you paying tax. You don't want to be a part of the commoners' wealth. Mm. Let's create for it. This is an opportunity to liberate not just the Maroons, but to the cells too. So, so what you're saying then is, so what, what do you see as a solution um, in going forward to, for this to be, let, let should I say, it is, we need. it is established, but for it to be formalized. It, I mean, isn't it formalized long time, Daniel? But um, they are trying to renege no, on it. What, what is it? What's the situation? Right. Yeah. So this is what has happened there. Mm. Um, remember in the 1962, you went from the colony straight to the, the Crown Corporation called the State of Jamaica, yeah. right? Yeah. And it was assimilating. The British, the British system never broke. It was just black people fronting a British system now. Yes. So it means that Jamaicans also need some balls up. Or let me not say balls. Let us see, because vaginas have more test fortitude than, 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 than anything else. Yes, you, need to, you need to ovarian up and get firm as women are firm and decide that we need to free ourselves from this as a collective. It is the hindrance to the progress of all of us on this island, both the Maroons and the non-Maroons who are part of the wider Jamaica. And if the fire is coming from the Maroons, accept it. Because we are showing you a light. Do not try to dim the light. Recognize it for what it is and say it's true. We need to free ourselves from the subjugation of the British crown. Because that's all the state of Jamaica that you're defending is. You are, your birth certificate is, is, is um, held by the registrar of Jamaica. The word registrar comes from the Latin word regis, which means to assign superior ownership of the thing to the crown. So everything you register in Jamaica, you have assigned a superior ownership to the British crown. And you are comfortable with that rather than the attempts being, f being put forward by the people who have always been liberated. To show you how to liberate yourselves. Yeah. Well, listen, Wake up and smell the coffee. Well, well, listen, Barbados recently just moved away from the Queen. Mm -hmm. They're going to get it formalized shortly. What you're saying to move away from the Queen, from Queen and country, and keep, and we go back to Jamaica. The Independent Republic yeah. of Jamaica. Yeah. Because here's what it means with the debt. Yeah. Now, the state of Jamaica, all this debt that they have put on your children and your great grandchildren. Mm. That state of Jamaica is a company doing business. The shareholders are the crown. Mm -hmm. We do not get the profits. So if we stop doing business as a state of Jamaica with the world, do you know who pays that debt? The shareholders of the company, the crown, because mm -hmm. they have been getting the benefit. And then we start from zero place where nobody knows as the independent republic of Jamaica. Wake up and smell the coffee, black people. And, and then the maroon. Free yourself. And then from the maroon perspective, <laughs> What happened with the Maroons there when, when that happens? And then it clears who is the light of the island. And our Maroons are showing this. Then it means that the Maroons are right. in the esteem that we should be. We are the liberators and we'll continue liberating. That's what it is. So, so, that, so, I mean, so Daniel, is that so Daniel, the right. Republic of Jamaica will then ascribe the, 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 mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the demarcate the Maroon lands yeah. as we're supposed to have our own territory. Yeah. Just as much as you have the indigenous territories. Yeah. Before we, we, we are not yeah. at any point we just yeah. forsake that. Yeah, before we wrap up with you, Daniel, Lester want to come in again. Lester? Yeah, so if if all of that happens, right, say by some miracle. When, right? when, when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, when, no, when your children are hearing no, it, it must no. happen. Uh, Your children are um, going to listen to this. Daniel, 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 what you are doing now is the same thing that the crown has done. You're, you're, you're dictating to me how I should even speak. Don't do that, Daniel. I'm a big man just like you. So if I'm asking a question, let me ask a question. You can choose whether to answer it or not. I am saying, if that is supposed to happen, who would then be the rulers of, of the, the new Jamaica, the zero start in Jamaica? We, us, we choose that. We, ourselves as Jamaicans, all on this island, we know that we know to put together our own political structure. We can create it for ourselves. We would be the rulers as opposed. Who is the ruler now? Now, the so-called thing that you call constitution, it says, the, the document says the order of Jamaica, order in council, in chambers from the queen. Daniel, the constitution is in brackets. Daniel, the point I think no, we are not the rulers. Yeah. Daniel, I think I think there's a point that Lester is pointing out there. He said, "Who is going to rule?" You said, "We 
And when you said we are incorporating the Maroons and Jamaica as one, is that what well, you're because saying? Because right now we are not a we. Yes, because right now we are not a we. Right now it is the Crown owned state versus the independent Maroons. We don't want to work with the Crown. We we'll work with the we. Right now is if I can't say yes. a we. The fact of the matter yes, is the Daniel, but what the, crown. The, 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 the customs that Jamaica is the Queen's customs. Stop pretending. All right. Well, hold on. Let's ask the point. Because I still haven't got a clear. No. Let's what, 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 I'm, what I'm asking, who do we choose from then? You say we, right? So is it that the Maroons are going to say that, look here, we are the one that gave you the liberation, that gave you the light, gave you the education. So we are the one that have the fortitude to lead. Or should we choose amongst the wider no, Jamaica? That, that, no, we are too busy. We didn't say that. We never said that. As we said, we, when we have gotten to that point and liberated ourselves, then we sit down and say, listen, we have to put a political structure in place. The fact that you are saying to me these questions means that a man like you will have to play an important role because you have the visionary and to ask even the right questions. It's from we. I trust you more than I trust them, Lester. I don't know you. I don't know what you look like. But just the fact that you're here on this program tells me you care enough about our business that I must trust you more than them. Yes, yes. Point taken. Um, any last, any last point, guys? Before Jody. No, um, I think I have heard um what Daniel has to say. As I, my concerns now is about the present, um, and what's happening now and where we stand now. Because if we don't know where we are now, how are we going to move forward? Which is why I wanted to get an understanding of where they see themselves now and how is it that we're going to deal with the conflicts that are arising now to move from one phase to the next. And from what I am seeing here, literally in front of me, we are interdependent and the Maroons depend on us. Um, and you, you get what I'm saying, um, everybody? They do depend on the same resources we use in Understood. order to carry on. So I don't want it to seem as if we Understood. are fighting against what is just an understanding that needs to be clear to us to know where you're coming mm. from since you've already yeah. told us where you want to go. So right now, it's an interdependent situation. Yeah. So is it that no? And this is why I have a conflict within myself when they're going to, um, when the Maroons are going to say, you know, the law does not apply to them in these circumstances when we're already interdependent. That, that is the part that confuses me. Because if we're interdependent the, on resources, where food is needed, where healthcare is needed, where government system is needed, where schools are needed, how do true. we deal with this intermingling conflict? All right. It doesn't make sense because in my Because we've only been interdependent since 1962. Before that, we never did. If somebody, if a Maroon go visit up here, stayed up here, and then put cast or whatever upon it up here, we have only been interfacing with you since 1962. Mm. Before that, there was no interface. Mm. None. We were all, so we are comfortable. And we have survived all these hundreds of years without depending on anything down in the wider Jamaica. So mm. it, is not, it is not that we're saying we don't need and we don't appreciate it. But we're saying, what is wrong with us as a collective thinking about creating our own independence for us mm -hmm. alone, for us together, without having to be? Because presently, Jamaica is dependent on Britain. We would like to, we would interface and want to be a part of, of Jamaica. We would gladly assimilate to that Jamaica that's not owned by Britain. But to assimilate to that, I mean, that black Jamaica owned by white Britain scares us when it's the white Britain that surrendered to us in mm -hmm. 1729. Daniel, listen. Daniel, Daniel, hold on, hold on. Daniel, mm -hmm. I, I hear you. Um, just for the record, Daniel, um, my grandmother is a Portland Maroon, right? Her mother was born, is a, is a, is a full blood, my grandmother is a full blood in Maroon, right? Um, but she, she then came off the, out of the hills and, um, exactly, um, coupled up it with a, um, Non, according to you, non-maroon. Non my, 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 my grandfather, you know. So, 
I, 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 guess I, am, <laughs> I, I Well, my, my grandfather is from St. Elizabeth, one of them brown curly ear. But I, I can't, uh, can't from... be a dog, you know. If your grandmother is a maroon, I want you to claim maroon. Tell the man to claim maroon for me, I, I Silver, because I'm just a child, 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 I was I claim well, well, myself to be an Otrius Maroon. We don't know about that part. Well, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. Let's back up here. Let's back up. I come from the hills up in Stepney, nine miles, you know, or Bob Marley area. You know. So, oh, red oh, dirt. Oh, you know. Nine miles is the indigenous. There we go. That's an original. It's just lazy. Then get road access to the air. These places are exactly. Stepney. Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. All the way Daniel. Down and going Daniel. All the way down Daniel. 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 Daniel.
with clarity because I, I was <laughs> I was I was encouraged by someone not to touch this subject tonight. <laughs> and I said to the and I said, no, I, I think we have to dissect subject like these because people sometimes don't want to touch things because it's a bit um touchy, you know, play safe or something like that. But I, I said, no, we, we must be able to touch and have conversation on topics challenging like these. And and Daniel, if if anybody watched Daniel sometime, they, they would say um it's a it's it's tricky to bring Daniel on, but I've learned and I had a respect for Daniel, just like with Lester and different persons, that communication is key. Every man can communicate if you really want to learn from them. And I like to listen. And that's why I listen to Daniel a lot because he's a, he has a wealth of knowledge in regards to the Maroons and to what is happening there. And, and if you notice, we didn't, if you notice how, how very diplomatic he was, he did not even get in to undermine the leadership of, of what is happening there in Maroon. But what he did was cover the whole thing like a good father. A good father covers his family to make sure that everything is all right, but deal with it within. He knows that there are issues going on inside the Maroons at this present moment, but at the same time, he's defending the, the person of, of the history of the Maroons. I know there are some, some issues that people will say that the, the Maroons were the ones who actually was capturing um, <laughs> uh, black people. And, yeah, you know. So there, there's that something that also is an uncomfortable bit that need to also, we didn't get into that today, but that's another uncomfortable area which also need to be addressed. And that is also what is creating the ism and the schism. Is that a fair statement? <laughs> no, but w w hold on, hold on. Is it all right? Mm. I have a problem with that somewhat. It's the same narrative that we say the Africans they used to capture other Africans are uh, sell to self the white man. Mm -hmm. Right? No. Mm. Who has told that story? That story has been told to us by uh, Europeans. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? No, I, I, but what, what is not told to us is that, yes, black people in Africa aided in the capture of other black people, but why and how? Right? So if, if me can capture silver and wife and in two children then, right and have them have them at at gunpoint as if you burn guide me through the forest guide me through the forest and help me capture these other people do it right mm -hmm. it, it's going to do it and a lot of people don't understand that that is what actually happened within africa why so it's, it's not like the black people were holding them hands and say me sir me sir let me help you no it, it, it wasn't like that and, and, and furthermore uh, we ha, africans didn't have a value system of money per se or a value system of certain things because remember you know we use copper in africa a lot because copper is is, is tougher and stronger and more and, and more domesticated <laughs> than gold and diamond so 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 we never have the value system in terms of gold and diamond and to say that i have a trade Let's, I, I hear what you're saying, you know, but I, I believe Africa has a level of advancement still at the same time. You know, and that is why we, we spoke last week that they weren't rebellious slaves or bad slaves, but they were persons who were articulate and assertive and know exactly who they are. You know, and that is why they were challenging the narrative. That is why some of them rebelled. And, uh, and someone said, "Official Instagram said, no, no, sir. Let 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 me let me help you.'" Somebody said, "No, sir. No, 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 no. Sir, me... no, she, no, oh. no she, no, she's she's repeating what I said." Okay, no, sir, no, sir. Let me help you. Yes, yes. And and I, I don't know fully. This is just me, and I can't come down on one side to say that there was not some sort of uh, there was some kingdom thing which was happening there where you had kings. And so in Africa, whereby a lot of um, kings also also benefited from the slavery movement at the same time, you know, with, 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 with collaboration. And just like how you have the level of collaboration also with the Maroons and the British time in capturing, there's a lot of murky areas next to 
a lot of murky areas, and I don't have the full answer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know well, if anybody want to come in right there. It was a little deep. So. What Lessa just said is true. Lisa? Because where are we getting mm. the, the, the information from? Is from the Europeans. That's where we got yes. the history from. And see, a lot of people don't know that they studied us. They studied us. Okay? For that everything that they have, we invented it. We did it. They studied us. And they burnt our libraries. You remember in, in, in Mali, in Mali and in Timbuktu and in Egypt and Kemet and Ethiopia, they burnt it, uh, the, the, our libraries. Yes. They burnt our history. Yes. Yes. Well that they actually took them. They took they took these artifacts mm -hmm. here to the yeah. UK. I, 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 <laughs> so they're trying to get some of them take, back. And what they could have taken they burnt. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. My thing is when they talk about sovereign, that what um I forget her name. What she was saying but, is right because oh, um the hospital system, they need a hospital system, they need a banking system, they needed this so that they could say they are sovereign people. They don't have to rely on like what them said to me government. They need their own to really say they're sovereign people. Yeah, yeah, de de definitely. Yeah, but, I, I believe, I believe, I sorry, um, Jody. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Jody, go ahead, Jody. Oh, it's natural beauty, right? Um, yes. As I said, I think, yeah, yeah. I think what Daniel was trying to say to us is we had our own, right? Mm -hmm. before we were emancipated that's what he's saying and since we mm -hmm. were in, emancipated it took away some of their freedom because they had to inculcate based on whatever existed at the time right and mm -hmm. for hundreds they had to years, comply like what we have to be doing free. now so they had to comply to the system now what he's saying is with knowledge, with the wealth of knowledge and being educated, it took them up to this point, 59 years, almost 60 years, to get to a point where mm -hmm. their people can be educated to know how to build back that level of freedom that is needed. And, and, and I think mm -hmm. that's really yeah. what he mm -hmm. wants us to understand, that we deserve our own freedom and based on the knowledge that we now have, we should all work together because he's not just saying the Maroons. I heard this in what he said. He said we should not just, mm -hmm. not just the Maroons. We want Jamaicans to work together and free ourselves yeah. from yeah. the monarch and from the European government um, still having a hold on us so that we mm -hmm. all can be free. So that what we have now, not just for or um, not just for ourselves, as in ourselves now being governed, but for ourselves as a people, have all of this independently. Not just the Maroons, but all of us have it exactly. independently. And and that's what he's saying. Exactly. We now all have the wealth of yes. knowledge. We now have what it takes to be truly independent. Why are we not fighting for that level of independence? That is what he's because saying. guess what. Quote unquote, black people don't trust each other. Mm. We have no trust for each other. That's how come it's, it, it, we won't come together and say work on it. But, but, but natural, remember, you know, William Lynch from Brazil developed a formula to, to keep us divided, mm -hmm. you know. And, and if persons ever look at the Willie Lynch book and the Willie Lynch letters and stuff like that, and um, this man had um, seminars as a slave owner to teach other slave owners around the world how to keep slaves in line. You know, and one of the first, one of the biggest thing in his whole thing is that you have to cause, create distrust among slaves. And you, him say, you have to break up the family too. And you have to intermingle them. So you know, say, him come from Nigeria and the next one come from Asha. Um, exactly. Um, and you have the light skin and the okay. dark skin. Yeah, and separate the last thing. But, 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 but can I just say something there? And with the Willow Lynch, the they said essence, it wasn't true. 
the essence of the essence of that was slaves how to control slaves right and and what i'm picking up is that that has been transferred or translated into present as to say that is one of the um the the, the legacy which is which is coming true and the reason why they say black people don't work together but if we are not slaves then why is the willing factor so strong or is it that and i'm going to say this now is it's it that ingrained. the mindset the mindset is yeah. ingrained with that slave mentality it's ingrained yeah, it's, that's right yeah it's ingrained it's just a, it's just a, the experiment um with the with the the monkey and and the um the banana in the cage so the first monkey in the cage and the banana is there and so but there's a there's electricity that runs in the banana when the monkey hungry and go to eat the banana it shock him and each time he touch it it shock him then put a second monkey in there now right a second monkey there go to eat the banana too and the first monkey said no tell him no right him still go i shock him so the two of them get shocked they put a third monkey in there the both monkeys tell the third monkey say that banana don't touch it you get shocked each time in the in the touch monkey in the touch banana you know in believe what them say each time them add a new monkey to the cage the rest of monkey them teach the new monkey that that banana is bad is dangerous so after the third monkey come in no monkey touch the banana at all what is happening is the carry on of the mental slavery and this is what is happening mm. and this is what we find a lot in jamaica we find it this is why them they are bleaching at jamaica because them think that lighter is better than dark skin is it, is it just in jamaica or on black people let me it happened to me in jamaica the country that i'm from mm. there's a lot of colorism that goes on there in jamaica mm. if you go into the big business them and anywhere who you see up front the light-skinned people then mm. is that is, is that the same is that the same for jamaica still today jody uh, jody you're there I, I, I think the bleaching thing now is not as a result of that. I think it's a result of just culture, um, what you call it, culture shift. Because people don't do it for that reason um, anymore. It, yeah. It's a no, matter of... Bleaching is more fashion now. It's fashion. Bleaching is more yes, fashion now. I guess, it's, fashionable. I guess it's, it, it's fashion now, but when they first started, it was a colorism thing. It was yeah, a colorism I mean, yeah, thing. We are, because we are, they think that light skin that, better than no. dark skin. No, you bring down a little light skin baby into from. Jamaica. Yeah, but but hold but, on, but, 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 some disturbance. What mission? What Let's say you're spinning as well. Everybody's no. spinning. Everybody's no, spinning. No, 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 not me. I'm not spinning. Not me. I see. Um, which we call it? Jody's spinning. Jody's spinning. Jody's spinning. Jody's spinning. Jody's spinning. Yeah, I'm spinning. I'm. I'm spinning. Who's spinning? Okay. All right, I'm. I'm. But, but, I'm not spinning. I'm not. I'm not break dancing. I normally spin on my back and my head. And stuff. Doing... But, 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 still burn. Yes. Um. No, 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 no. Jody, you're good. 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 Is, mm. and this is a misconception and it, again that the same experiment we are we are led to believe that is the darker skinned people um bleach are mostly bleach right uptown a lot of uptown light-skinned people a lot of chinese people a lot of these people they also bleach too them just not go and buy the rubbing the, the, something the cream them got to the the the, the Joe, the way call the people them like Jen K and them people there. Yeah. Them, yeah. them, them go, and then yeah. get them skin peel and they get them so they go and they I the have friends and all these things now. Exactly. Like, it's a thing. Right? It's just like we talk about the it's body thing. that has changed. It's a thing now. You yeah. know, it's no longer okay to be thin and have a eighteen, you know, it's to, to not have big hips and butts. That's what in now. Big hips and butts, just like the bleaching. And um I dare to yeah. say 
bleaching is very prevalent um, in India, in China, and in Africa, all these other Thailand. It's it's very yeah. huge, and it's huge compared to Jamaica, because it's it's almost like if you don't do it in these countries, it's like not the norm. And in Jamaica, you can see the trend of the culture of the people who do it, versus um, mm. you know in other countries where it's like a norm. Yeah, just let's look, look a note here. Um, Curious Carrington said, "Not not at all. Persons still think that the lighter your skin is, the more beautiful and appealing you are." I'm telling you. And it is an internet connection is inconsistent. Um, is that where you are, Curious? Let's let us know. There was a little disturbance a while ago. You guys, you guys were deep, dipping, dipping, digging into some deep zone. When you're in a deep zone, they get a bit uncomfortable on these social media platforms. Um, but yeah, you're saying, um, um, Michelle, as to Curious Carrington, what she said. I'm sorry? No, no, you're saying, picking up back from what Curious Carrington said, um, echoing what you had said earlier. That yeah, well, that's what I see with um, um, most Jamaican. When you go to Jamaica, this is what I see, that it's a, a thing of... Um, colorism that goes on in Jamaica. You bring down a little light skin pitney and them go mad over the little light skin baby. Mm. It's something but, mental but, there. Uh, but, but also, but you with see, colorism. Um, um, but natural beauty. As a man, and a dark skin man, I can tell you also that I have been in many, many circles where women or people have said to me that you know, them, them, a, a might have a complexion, them love, you know, so, and, I, and I've gotten that all over Jamaica also, you know, so it's a, it's, it's, it's sometimes depending on who you're talking to, where you are, and probably the females right. them, but the males them, a red bone girl them look for, red bones, all right, that's what they're into, those, those males down there. Red bone, them think that them could have all ugly, them think just as long as they're light skin. That's it. Is that, is that from Bujibantan days? The browning. See it there? The love of browning. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Well, well, guys, I mean, that, that was, that was, um, I, I, I think the, the awareness with the Maroons and the cockpit country is something which is going to keep going on until mm -hmm. because I, I see a lot of time people said them and we but I noticed that Daniel brought the we factor there you know the them and the we and therefore I think what he's talking about is a one Jamaica one people but once we get rid of the the British excellence the crowd. of the, yeah. the crowd mm -hmm. you know <clears throat> you know um, curious character says, every time I've asked an individual who is bleaching and seem to ask why destroy your beauty skin, the reason remains the same. It gives better opportunities and is more appreciated if they... And I did watch a program from the BBC talking about bleaching in Jamaica and they said, me, me reach, me reach. Me yes, reach, no, me I'm grow. telling you. <laughs> I remember seeing that a couple of years ago. I see me it reach. in the business. I see it in business all the time in Jamaica. I see it in business uh, listen, all the time in Jamaica. Him. I, I disagree. That 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 program that documentary is very old, and they did not do a wide cross section of the sample of Jamaica. I I understand, but if you, if you only document only one set of people, right, and mm -hmm. and that set of people from 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 a particular social economic background and a, and a particular educational level, you are gonna get up the particular outcome. But what I'm yeah. saying to you is that I know of persons who are of Chinese descent who are of um, European Jamaican descent, and then bleach the same, a prevalent in, 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 other, in, in other uptown sector also. Yeah, well, we're not talking yeah. about it being in the, poor to, uh, in the poor people sector. We're just saying, as black people and, dark, and, and the dark-skinned ones, them, they tend to think that being light-skinned will get them somewhere in life. And this, this is what I'm saying. I have seen it in like I'm gonna go back and say I've seen it in business. The upfront girls them in business is pure light skin girls. I mean, I don't know if it changed now because I haven't been down there in probably like uh, a good three years now. You know what I'm saying? But I've seen it that 
when you walk into certain business, it's really a lot of light skinned girls that is the up to the you know up front. Yeah. Jamaica yeah. is filled with <clears throat> colorism, colorism yes. and classism. Well, I, I think I think in Jamaica now there is also this thing about the type of vax you have. I'm Pfizer, you know. I'm not Johnson Johnson. <laughs> Am I right, Jody? <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> Jamaica full like... alter but is gonna Michelle. Jamaica full yeah, alter but is gonna can you have cultism? <laughs> Who got a better culture? The cultism. <laughs> now. Yes, yes. But listen, before exactly. before we wrap before we wrap up, just just on this practical thing here, with how the world is moving now, and it is something that I wanted to touch on briefly. Um, in the UK, care workers, if they do not take the jab, they're out of jobs. The NHS with the nurses and doctors, they say up to 80 to 100,000 nurses, I mean, frontline medical persons in the UK have not taken the jab. And um, I think next year, April or so, <clears throat> just before the financial year, um, if not, they are going to be out of jobs. What do you think people should now start to think in regards to creating opportunities because that's how i see things people have now have to think now about creating opportunities to their own, to their own and move away from seeking a job because it's like the slave right now right now what i'm actually seeing is like a form of slavery system to you like the young guy who, who the guy was on the program the other night on my in review he's in canada 33 years he's in the health service and because he did not take the jab, they said he doesn't want the work. The guy loved the work for years. The guy even at one point was crying when I was speaking to him because it really broke him. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. Let me and, ask and, you and the question, point. Though. Yes, Jody, yes. And <laughs> I'm asking this, um, and I'm going to say this in a very weird way, less than dollar. I'm going to ask this question as an intellectual fool, right? Yes. But just don't laugh, let's go. Um, we have a lot somebody, of those. You know, I'm just going to ask the question. Mm -hmm. When they fire all these doctors and nurses that we are already short of worldwide, who is going to fill the jobs? Because for the last two years, nobody's been able to finish school. More right? inexperience. Right now, every country across the world needs doctors and nurses because mm. of this very situation. I need to understand who is going to take care of the patients when they fire all of these doctors and nurses across the world. Somebody please let me know if they have a factory full of robots that are ready to be unleashed out of an ark somewhere. Out of an okay, art. You'll be surprised. Out of an art. <laughs> you will be surprised. Somewhere buried under the ground in a country, right? These intellectual robots who are going to come and take all our places to take care of human beings. Somebody tell me when this is going to happen. Because it must be the situation. Listen, it started happening I already. Am, I am appalled by this. And I think people need to take a stand mm. on understanding what is happening in the world. I think we need to take a stand on understanding it. If our healthcare workers, our doctors and our nurses who care for you on a daily basis are saying to you, what mm. has been presented to us is not good enough for us to take it. You notice how I just identified? If but you don't have many of them saying that. For us to take it. Why, are, why should we force this onto other people? Mm. We are you don't have many of them standing up like people. that. No, they are. This is why they're not going to take the job. This is why they have not taken it for over a year. Well, We've I know here in America, you don't have... A, with COVID. You don't... No, there are many states that the doctors and nurses mm. are not taking the jobs. I can tell you this. Hundreds and thousands of doctors and nurses. And you have nurses many of them that are, are taking, taking it and that are telling their patients to take it. Well, you that have many of them that goes by... You understand? 
that goes but if by, they have a reason not I'm, to I'm take sorry. it, what, 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 it one, one should second. be something yeah. uh -huh. that is considered. Because if my doctor and my nurse, yeah. right, has been the one giving me medical mm -hmm. advice my entire life and I'm still alive, and they're saying to you that mm -hmm. this is not something that we think is for us at this point in time why are we not listening now we will go to them for them to mm. diagnose hypertension diabetes cancer and treat us for it and we're saying to you mm. as medical professionals we have a concern why are you choosing to listen to government leaders who cannot give you a diagnosis and cannot give you a treatment for a condition that they're telling you to take something for and reassure you based off yeah. politics versus medical mm. information Come on, man. We need to wake up. This doesn't make sense. It the money is in the medicine, sense. not the cure. The money is in the medicine, not the cure. And that's just it. Who is benefiting it. from the medicine? The money, they, they, um, the money the is in the medicine, who not the cure. Who is gaining all these profits? Is your country gaining money from that? They're flying. They're flying. The, watch, watch and see who is going to be flying to space soon again for, cur exactly. for excursion. Exactly. We have a and doctor. Know, that... We have a Before doctor the that comes. Come <laughs> and the SWAT team comes. No, don't I'm touch my doctor. Exit. Don't touch my doctor. Don't touch my Bridget. <laughs> I'm going to exit. The well, door. listen, the SWAT Silver. team comes and the helicopter comes. And <laughs> I don't miss. I, I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think naturally, if you, if you generalize it out and say you have doctors who, um, you know. Yeah, you have doctors. On, yeah. I just went to the doctor yeah. on Thursday, and that was the first thing they asked me. Did you take your vaccine yet? And I looked at him. I, it was like the exorcist. I, who's taking a vaccine? No, I'm was not it, taking a vaccine. Did you take your vaccine yeah. yet? No, no, no. Was the question asked? Yes. To get information or to say to you, you should take the vaccine. That is what they're saying. Did it take it yet? Not did you take it. Did you take your vaccine yet? That's what the question was. All right. So you have mm -hmm. many but doctors out there, and then there's, again, there's, there's you know, uh, down the you line know. because there are persons who are benefiting from it. So, anyway, um, guys, it was mm -hmm. one exactly, hey, listen, listen. exactly. Yeah, but listen, and, I didn't, um, I didn't know for day, I didn't know for day before we wrap up. You know, sorry, Jody, you're saying something. I don't know, just you're talking something. No, 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 no. Jody, you're saying something? Or you finished? I was just yeah. joking. Yeah, I, I, I think that, yeah. Yes, I, I think that at the end of the day, you're going to have doctors who are going to be encouraging their staff or their patients that the vaccine is good for them. You're going to have some who will be very silent. I know doctors um, who are silent on it and say it's their job to administer it or so, but personally they won't at this time, you know? And I and I think it's a it's a choice factor. Uh, nobody asked me this question because and people always ask me and I say <laughs> I don't talk about my pap smear test it's that exactly. I do. And and people say, do you know a pap Are smear? Are you circumcised? Yeah, and I and I circumcised. Well, unless me and them have something, you know, it passing. I mean, they can find on you. I'm you know, say, you know? <laughs> when they ask me that, that's what I ask them. Man, did you get circumcised? Are you talking about the circumcision? <laughs> You know, but then again, when you look at it, sometimes some of the doctors' backs are against the wall because they're beginning to take their license here in America. Yes, yes, If yes, they don't yes. comply. So they, yeah. they sometimes their back is against the wall. That's how come they have to tell yeah. their employees to get the vaccination because they are beginning to take their license away. It's well, comply or die be, because economically, it's financially... Exactly. Exactly. It a should lot of not be mandated. Sorry, mm. It should be a choice. Just like it would be my mm. choice. No, it should not. To choose to do. Should, just like if I'm mm. diagnosed with cancer, it should be my choice. If I want to do surgery, or if I want to do chemotherapy, or if I want to do radiation, or, or if I want to go on exactly. a, a natural method. I think it should be a mm. choice. Exactly. The part that I have a problem with. Exactly. It's the, the mandatory thing that is being shoved down our throats telling us we can't go places or do things without mm -hmm. it. I, mm -hmm. That, for me, is mm -hmm. the, the troubling part right. of this yes. entire process that takes away from the ethics of medicine, that confuses us and says to us, why are we being forced when everything else is a choice? Mm -hmm. Why they never force people to yes. wear... Well, here I, I, in America... 
when HIV came out and if you don't wear a condom, then we're going to... Anyway, let's, let's just... Not we're not going to take right care now. of you if you catch it. Right. My mm. blood pressure. Mm. pressure well, it's just I, like I, here with the kids. If they're in school, um, at any time, they could just say, send, bring the kids them down to the nurse and, and the nurse will administer the vaccine. And they'll tell you that you, you, as a parent, you don't have a right because you consent to it because you already seen it that it's happening on TV. This is what's happening here. It's going to mm -hmm. start happening here. Yes, yes. Well, well guys, listen, um, it, it's a it's, um, very enlightening discussion, I, I must say. But one of the things that I, I would like to say is that God got her back, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. Um, and that he's not, you know... It's, it's unfair that we are taken to a point whereby we are just half, what do you call it, drawn, hung, and quartered like Guy mm. Fawkes. That's what mm -hmm. it is like, you know. People are actually going through the mill to a certain extent. They have served, uh, listen to this, they have gone to the university, they studied, they did their training, their apprenticeship, and they are now doing the job that they love. And then COVID came on the scene which came to steal, kill, and destroy. And all of a sudden, COVID, I believe, and this is what I believe very strongly, COVID is trying to leave. He's trying to go away. But, but they're, they're still trying to, to keep him. it here. They're just trying to hold on to him. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and, I just, and I just think that all what is happening, as I said before, this is just me, the booster is like what you have network marketing, where you got to pay to keep yourself active. And that is where the top guys in the network marketing business make a lot of money because that is where they have guaranteed income. And I've said it in some of my walks out there, and I've said it to the, the booster is going to be the thing that makes guys travel to space daily because some guys are going to get filter rich and people are going to get poor and get dependent because what is going to happen is that this is going to be putting people on the dole or people are going to lining up to get money because when you affect someone's job because of a jab, you're affecting their economic position, their financial position, their children, their children. So what you're doing, you're setting them back big time. And I know what that feels like. I was there one point when I was in between some job thing and I, I saw the impact you know, of it. And that is why I encourage people as much as possible at this time. Brand yours. Brand yourself into something. Mm -hmm. Do something. Go online. Yeah, do some videos. And a lot of this, people started you know, that from ever yes. since this COVID started. A lot of people started yes. their own. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, and, and this is what official inspiration said. The fact that we are being forced to do one thing is proof that we might not actually have a choice. <laughs> so it's not a choice. <laughs> you know, yeah. the fact that... You, um, did I understand that properly though? The fact that we are being forced to do one thing is proof that we might not actually have a choice. What does that mean? Can someone break that down for me a bit? We have a okay. choice. Well, them ready for arm surrender and comply. It sound like to me. Yeah, yeah, because that that's the it thing. Sound like they're ready to, to comply. Yeah, because whenever I hear people say, "Do we have a choice?" Do we I have say, a hey, choice? I, I keep exactly. saying exactly. you have a choice, but but there are implications on the choices that you make. Is that a fair exactly. statement? And exactly. And therefore, yep, yep. And that is why I say you need. You see, the best time I always say to look for another job is not when you're going to get kicked out of a job. It's when you're in a when job. You are already in a job. In a job, yeah. and then you can take your time. And I always say the best time sometimes to start to create an opportunity or business is when you find yourself in a comfortable zone with a job, which you find comfortable. Start to be proactive to get out of that and get into something else that if somebody calls in an office and they say to you, Silburn Studio, what we are paying you is for like two persons. You will have to negotiate with your agency or blah, blah, blah. That has happened to me. And I had to leave that job because it was a situation where someone called me into an office to affect and was going to affect my financial position. And that is what is happening to people now. A job is going to be affecting their financial position. And I say to people, you have to resist because I tell you this. And if anybody hear my voice, if everybody who actually is hesitant and don't want to stand up and say over my dead body, do you think the government can do anything? 
Do you think so? I don't think so. But what it means is that people have to stand their ground and people have to work together as much as possible. So those are my words. And I hope that people will... I have a nephew that just went today and took the job because he works for the government. He works for federal, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and he had to go and he was yes. like, auntie, I went today and I had to go take the job. Because, that, the, the key um, word is he had to because he was forced. Is that it? Because he was forced. forced. They came back yeah. to him. Mm. He's leaving next week to go to Jamaica to bury his father in Jamaica. And they mm. told him that if he don't take oh. a job, he's when he comes back, he will have to take two weeks off without pay. Yes, yes. You see, oh. so my perspective is this, you know. Nothing is wrong if somebody choose if and decide choose. to take mm -hmm. the job. And I, when people ask mm -hmm. me, do I, am I a vaccine pro or vaccine, uh, what do you call it? They don't uh, have anything to do with anti. pro. Um, I, 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 say, I say to them, listen, man, my arm can show you some love vaccine. It mark all over my arm. You know what I mean? Exactly. What are, those, what, are those, what are those faces people are doing? I think we should have some face time now. What are those things on people's face? Um, Michelle, I think you should just, let's close off with a nice attitude here. I can't seem to get a face. Jody has a face. Michelle, can you get a face? Men are not forget our face. Look, um, Michelle, look, hey? look, the tree look a star then. Is the tree look a star then? Uh -huh. Right, Tessa? Yeah. <laughs> let's, 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 oh, okay. All right. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. Hold on. And then sh shift the thing across. The, 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 the thing that will come down at the bottom. Yeah, all right. Let me see. I know. Let me see which one I want. Hey. I can't see you. <laughs> I can't get mine to change actually. Mine can't change. Okay. Just shift, just, just, just shift them along the line, Michelle. I, I choose different, different ones. Yes. I notice a lot of them during the okay, course of the Okay, who said I'm juggling here? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my days! I don't like that. I like the black and white there. That, that, that looks very. Oh, what's that? Rufus. Oh, like wow. my dog named Rufus. Oh, oh lord! <laughs> wow. I like this one. Oh, y'all got Her that. Her face looks like a cat. Though. Okay, what's this? Oh no! All right. I like I'm that disco light. That, that's in. mine. I use a di I use a disco light because of the music playing now. You see, y'all let me just go and went crazy now and I got knocked off. <laughs> but listen, guys, uh, let me just get this back here. So let's have a drink. Jody. All right, let me let's get back drink. to my normal. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Let me get back to my normal. <laughs> There's nothing else wrong. Yeah. This is all right, I'll just do this. I have to drink with this. Yeah, there's, there's, everything is normal. This Jody, have a drink. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Our face Cheers. look like a cat. Cheers. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining tonight, and um, thanks so much for Daniel to come in and sort of give us an expose. Actually, I do have a show with Daniel, which I did on YouTube. I think a year or so ago. Where, where I tap into him, I saw him cussing out the prime minister. I said, Virgin, never talk to this guy, you know? And then we're there. Because I, I, I do believe that sometimes people, everybody, you can actually learn something from them, you know? And I reach out to Daniel, just like when we reach out to Lester. Let's say he's a cuss, be a bad old man. Let's say he's a cuss, not bad old man. I'm going to reach out to Me. Lester. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Wow. Let me say to Lester. Let's put it this way. Lester has a strong way of bringing across his A strong way of what? Bringing across his point. He has a strong way. Let's, let's, yes. let's use that. Well, you know what, guys? I, I see so many spinning on this show tonight. I want to make sure I will touch on so many things, and I'm surprised that it is not taken down. So, therefore, I want to close off properly to make sure I capture it because what I do is that I put them up on YouTube right after eventually. So the previous shows you've ever seen, they're all on YouTube now on Silver and TV. This I'm going to load it on, on YouTube by tomorrow as well. 
um, so people can watch it again, you know. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, for those who came on and for those who are coming, I want to thank you so much um, for joining. Micah Blue, official Inspiram, thank you so much. Um, I'm Sharon Thompson. We're going to talk. Sharon Thompson, one day you should come in and talk about your award, Council of the Year, uh, um, Labour Councillor in the UK here. Gwenton, Curious Carrington, thank you so much. Dee Mullins, Daniel. Um, Natural Beauty, hey guys, Natural Beauty bake some beautiful cake. One day you have to come on. You need to tell us, tell us about your cake, man. Tell us about those oh, cake cakes. Oh, God, Give me some. Give me some. <laughs> she made mud water all the while, you know. She, she try. <laughs> Listen, can she get some cake sent? You, you're always getting things shipped to you. Can she get something shipped from the, the US to the UK, Lester? You know, what's the link? You have some link, Lester? No, no, sir. <laughs> no, no, link, Lester. I think he's going to call Michelle in and say. Let's Lester, you have a link. No, that is not you true. Link, man. You don't want to get the cakes. You have a link. No, there's going to be a I link from gonna, the US I, to the Netherlands, though. No. I think he's, he's going to make some lateral communication with Michelle. But Michelle will tell me. And, <laughs> <laughs> there is going to be a link that's not coming to the UK at all. <laughs> Yeah, it means it's when I ship, I ship, I ship two slices from Netherlands. Two slices. <laughs> I might just put it on Instagram. <laughs> I put oh, my Instagram. No, Michelle tends to put the all these cake, you know? and and I can literally, I can I can literally taste the cake. You know, you know, I used to like the, the skin bit of the cake, the, the crust bit. I love those bits. You know? Or the end. I know, I like the, I like the end bit. You hair. know. Vita says for everything you need. What's that? Oh, that gone? Vita says whatever you there, need, she has a link. Okay, Vita says she has a link. So, okay, I'll get in touch with her. Lester, Vita joined earlier. She's at a party. So, she came in and showed her face. You know, so, we're going to wrap up now. What? Go, yeah. Vita, no, it's her birthday. She, no, she had a party. She had a big bash. A big bash meant to go on some heavy, some rubber dubber going on at them places. Let's see, let's see where she had dropped some foot a while ago. You should have seen her. Next string, you know. Let's say what you time know? is it over on your side? Because you've been yarning out. <laughs> uh, three past one. And mine is three past. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're tired. You're, you're, you're most yarn. Yeah, okay. And, and I'm three yeah, okay. three past 12. And then my and you're out. Jo okay. Jody, you're three past mm -hmm. five? Uh, no, no, seven. seven. Oh, seven, seven, yes, yes. And you are also seven. Oh, you guys yeah, because you started ESC early. Time. Yeah, we yes, ESC that. time. All right, guys, well, listen. I say good night. So thank you guys right, very good much. Good night, guys. Okay. Sure, Peace out. Have a good night. Bless Bless Bye, Jordan. Yeah. Take care, yourself. Cheers. Right. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Well, let's, well, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, want to thank you so much for joining tonight and um, for talking sip. And um, it was very interesting and uh, what should I say, very educational program. And especially talking about the cockpit country and maroons with um, Mr. Daniel. And um, as we wrap up now, I want to say good night, peace out, God bless. <laughs> listening some nice chill South African music Thank you.